This is Coco Nib. It's bitter, it's savory, and it's kind of fun. You know, chocolate has many forms, so I thought I'd put my thinking cap on and shine a light on the possibilities of chocolate in all its forms on the barbecue, starting with this Coco Coconut Shrimp. Alliteration aside, it's gonna rock your world. Let's do this. So some cocoa powder and then flour to make the bond. That's the first part of the dry dredge. For some texture, cocoa nibs and ginger powder. And then some sea salt. Sea salt, chocolate, they're best friends. And then coconut. It's gonna give it a tropical feel. Give it a buzz. Oh, that's a cool color. It has such a good savory smell to it. And the ginger and the cocoa, delicious. This is the third stage. Get a bit of that in there with some shredded coconut and some panko. When it's on the grill, you get a ton of texture. Now, the middle stage is the wet stage. You could use whole egg if you want, but I find the egg white gives you maximum crunchiness. That's how simple it is to get shrimp really tasty. And I have some soaked skewers. Start at the tail and then through the top, and I'll do three on a skewer, and that makes it perfect for dredging, perfect for grilling, and perfect for adding a ton of flavor. All right, a few more to do, and then I get to dunk, slip, and slide into coconut and cocoa. Let's do this. All right, once they're all skewered, now for the fun part. It's super simple, one, two, three. The flour is the super important part. You wanna get a ton of it on, but shake off the excess into egg whites, which is the glue. Then this is the texture. Dip it in there, sprinkle some on top. Man, coconut, the flavor of the ginger, the cocoa nibs in there. It's gonna be crazy. I got a sweet dipping sauce and some tropical fruit, but first, I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll see you at the queue. So for these cocoa coconut shrimp, the grill should be at medium heat. You don't want a hard sear, you don't want to burn the coconut, just lightly cook it. I always give the grill a little oil and then just a couple shots on the shrimp. All right, stick the shrimp on just like this, the oil side down. Oh, that's nice. You can smell the coconut starting to toast. Close the lid, let the coconut and the shrimp cook away, and that coconut smells delicious. Gonna be good. Well, bam! That's what you wanna see. There's a little color change in the shrimp and the egg whites and the cocoa and the coconut has made it really nice and crispy. Take them off the grill. These are pretty delicious just like that, but I got a few tricks up my sleeve to make these pop off the plate. Man, they smell good. Coconut cocoa shrimp is pretty good on its own, but anytime I get coconut shrimp, they always have some sweet chili sauce. Take the sweet chili sauce, add a splash of apricot preserve. It's really fruity, and the combination is dynamite together. All right, I want some fresh fruit with it because it's pretty intense, so mango. All right, take some time, make it look pretty, because you eat with your eyes first. Let's do it. This reminds me of being on vacation and going for coconut shrimp. This, that's got island all over it. Good. It's so good, it's got that classic coconut shrimp feel. It's sweet, but it's savory. It's got flavor of the char, and the shrimp is just delicious. And that apricot sweet chili sauce is banging. There's so many possibilities for chocolate on the barbecue, and my friends, today is gonna be a great day.